All right, this is bowling quiz number six, and this is a non-calculator active quiz, so no calculators. All right, first question. Alan is building a birdhouse that requires one half long foot long boards. How many pieces that are exactly half a foot long can be made from a board that is eight and one fourth foot long? Now, you can solve this one of two ways. Remember, no calculator. You can either go ahead and divide your fractions, or if you're uncomfortable with that, you can change them to decimals. I'm going to do it both ways. So the first thing is I'm going to change 1 half to 0 0.5, and I'm going to change 8 and 1 fourth to 8.25. Now, all I have to do is divide. So 0 0.5 divided by 8.25. Now remember, I cannot have a decimal on the outside, so I have to move it. And so this one gets moved as well to right there, and I bring it up to the roof. However many times I move on the outside, I need to move on the inside. So let's go ahead and divide. 5 goes into 8 one time, which is 5. 8 minus 5 is 3, and I need to bring down the 2. 5 goes into 32 six times for 30. And 32 minus 30 is 2, and I bring down the 5. 5 goes into 25 five times evenly for a remainder of 0. Okay? Now, here's what is important. If you put 16.5 as your answer, it's wrong because the key word here is how many pieces that are exactly half a foot can he make, okay? He doesn't want the extra, he wants exactly half a foot. And so your answer is going to be 16. So you're gonna bubble in one and six. Very important that you read that. Now I also wanna show you how to do it um, with a fraction, okay? So um, we're gonna have eight and one fourth divided by one half, okay? And I recommend that you do tic-tac-toe. So we're gonna do keep, change, and flip, all right? So we're gonna keep the eight and one fourth, but I would like to change that to an improper fraction. So four times eight is 32, plus one is 33. So 33 over four change the division to multiplication, and flip the one over two to two over one, okay? Now, um, we can go ahead and multiply across. So 33 times two is 66 over four times one is four. Now I need to go ahead, go ahead and figure out how many exactly that is. And so the best way to do that <coughs> is to do 4 divided by 66, okay? So basically all you're going to do is change this into a mixed number, all right? So 4 goes into 6 one time, 4, 6 minus 4 is 2, bring down the 6, 4 goes into 26 six times, 24, bring down the 2, now I need to add a decimal, bring it to the roof, add a zero, and bring it down. Four goes into 20 five times, and it goes in evenly. And so again, you're gonna end up with 16.5, but it wants to know how many exactly, and so the answer is 16. All right, let's take a look at this one here. A rectangular parking lot, okay, that's very important, rectangular, has an area of two thirds of a square kilometer. The width is one half of a kilometer. What is the length? Now, think, don't think about the fractions. Think rectangle and area. You know area equals base times height, okay? Plug in what you know. You know the area, two over three, okay? And you know the width. Okay, which is going to be like the height, okay? So you don't know the base, but you do know the width, all right? Now, what do you do? 
It's a one step equation, okay? Box your variable and you're going to divide by one half. And so here you're going to divide by one half. These are going to cancel and you're left with b equals, and now you just need to divide these really quickly. 2 over 3 divided by 1 over 2. Try your tic-tac-toe. Keep, change, flip. Keep 2 over 3, change to multiplication, and flip to 2 over 1. And that's going to equal 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 1 is 3, so it's going to equal 4 over 3. And you'll notice that's none of the answer choices because they're all written in proper form. So what is 4 over 3 as a mixed number? It's going to be 1 and 1 third. And that's going to be your answer right here. Okay? All right, let's try the next one. A recipe requires one-fourth a pound of onions to make three servings of soup. Mark has one and a half pounds of onions. How many servings can he make? All right, so first thing we need to do is divide. Now you can keep them as a fraction or you can make them um, decimals. So in this example, I'll make them a decimal. Actually, I'll do both in this example, okay? So let me do it with fractions first. All right, so one and one half divided by one fourth. All right, and so we're gonna do our tic-tac-toe and we're gonna do keep, change, flip. So make this into an improper fraction. Two times one is two plus one is three. Change to multiplication and flip to four over one, okay? Three times four is 12. Two times one is two. And when I simplify that, I get six. Now, if one-fourth of a pound makes three servings, okay, how many servings can he make with one and a half pounds? You have to take this six and multiply it times three, okay? And then so six times three equals 18. So 18 is your final answer. But let me also show you how you can do it with a decimal, okay? So one-fourth as a decimal equals 0 0.25. One and one-half as a decimal equals 1.5. And we're going to do the exact same process. We're just going to divide, okay? So 0 0.25 into 1.5. Now, I need to move this decimal once, twice to get rid of it, and so I need to move it here once, twice to get rid of it. I bring it to the roof and I need to add my zero placeholder right here. How many times does 25 go into 1? Zero. How many times does 25 go into 15? Zero. How many times does 25 go into 150? Well, let's count. 25, 50, 75, 100, 125, 150. I got six times and it goes in perfectly. Okay? And then again, you would repeat the same process. You need to take the six and multiply it times three because each one-fourth of a pound is three servings. And so your answer here is 18. <coughs> All right. A rectangular room, again, rectangular. They're not going to tell you rectangular unless it's important. A rectangular room has an area of 131 and 1 fourth square feet. The length of the living room is 12 and a half feet. What is the width in feet of the room? Okay, again, rectangular and area. Area equals base times height, okay? Um, I'm going to first show you um, to change to decimals, and then we'll use fractions, okay? So I'm going to change this to 131.25, and this one here will change to 12.5. So the area is 131.25 equals, and then it's telling me that the base is 12.5, and I don't know the height. And look, ladies and gentlemen, I have a one-step equation. Box the variable, divide by 12.5, 
and divide by 12.5. Okay? Now, you need to know how to be able to do this without using a calculator, which you can do. So over here, we have 131.25 divided by 12.5. We need to move the decimal once and once, and let's bring it to the roof, okay? Now, how many times does 125 go into 1? None. How many times does 125 go into 13? None. How many times does 135 go into 131? Once. So minus 125, and then that's going to be um, 6, and we're going to bring down the 2. How many times does 125 go into 62? 0. Okay, now we need to do 0, and we have 6, 2, and we're going to bring down the 5. How many times does 125 go into 65? Well, let's see, we have 125, and if we double that, we're going to have 250, and if we add 125 to that, we're going to have 375, and then we're going to have 500, and then 625. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So what is the width? It is 10.5 feet. Now, in this case, it was a little bit more difficult to do it with um, decimals. I think in this case it would be easier to do it with fractions, but I need you to know you can do it both ways. And so I'm going to show you the other way to do it as well. Okay? So we're going to use fractions. Area equals base times height. Okay? The area was 13, or sorry, 131 and 1 fourth equals 12 and 1 half h. Okay? Same thing, one step equation, box your variable, we're going to divide by 12 and a half, and we're going to divide by 12 and a half. These are going to cancel out, and we're left with h equals. I have to come over here and do 131 and 1 fourth divided by 12 and 1 half. Make my tic-tac-toe board. Okay, we're going to do keep change and flip. Now, how do I make this into an improper fraction? 131 times 4. 4 times 1 is 4. 4 times 3 is 12. 4 times 1 is 4 plus 1. 524, but I gotta add that extra one. 525 over 4 times 2 times 12 is 24, plus 1 is 20, oops, plus 1 is 25 over 2, except I need to flip it. 2 over 25. Okay? Now, let's multiply. What is 525 times 2? 525 times 2. We have 1. 0, 4, 5, and then we have 0. So we're going to have 1,050 over, and what's 4 times 25? 100. Okay? Now we need to change this into a mixed number. How many times does 100 go into 1,000, let's say? Well, 10 times. And what is the leftover? 50 over 100. So simplify that. 10 and 1 half. Okay? But please remember, when you are doing gridded response, you may not write a mixed number in here. And so, in that case, you need to have it as an improper fraction. But here's the thing. This is going to be too many numbers to put in. So you need to simplify it a little bit, okay? So I'm going to put it as a decimal, 10.5, and make sure that you fill it in, 10.5. All right. Last one, I believe. Yep, last one. 
Okay, so we have a number line here, and there shouldn't be very, very much computation. Which point on the number line represents negative four and a half? First of all, you should be able to get rid of two answer choices right away. The number is negative, so get rid of S and get rid of R. Cross them out. Those are not it, okay? Next, ask yourself, okay? Four and a half is in between what two numbers? Four and five. Which point is in between four and negative four and negative five? Point P, and that is your answer. All right, that is the end of quiz six. Good luck on quiz seven.